And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor, my pleasure, my privilege to welcome you to my home track, my home state, the land of speed, the home of the Sprint Car Nationals in the world. This is Knoxville Raceway, and this is the Amish 50, presented here by Ooze Motorsports and TP Graphics. Hi, right, get everyone. I am the Crusader Christian Shriver speaking on the line. We are ready for tonight's action. What a packed house we have in store for you here tonight but before we get to all that let's talk about this one here on our heat number one restart on the pole daniel floyd in the 23 we're walking out there it is outside robert mcellen in the 36 right over two is zane miller in that 10 it is outside lane phillips at number 29 right over three it is gonna be james ellington in the 49 it is outside trent cameron in the number 55 right over four camden johnson in the 62 is outside johnny ratley in the number one Right over five, Trey Shock in the 44, it is outside. Dan Stiffler in the 71. Here our final starter, C. Brett Rowles in the 17, it is outside the 57 of Trevor C. Williams. $500 on the line here tonight. Winner takes all, no holds barred action. And it's coming to you live here for the Amish 50 Heat number one in staging position as they line up down around the back straight away. They're ready to go racing here in just a brief short minute. This is what you fans came to see. You want to see the big races. You want to see the big money. You want to see the best of the best. Rock it out for some fun and have a good time. I think I have nothing better to show for you than what we've got right here now. Green flag flies. We're underway. Right out of the gate. Oh, no. They're going for it early. Three wide to four wide saloon around out of turn one down in turn two out of the gate. On the attack, though, it is the 13th of Zane Miller on the run, trying to get up there. Robert McClellan and Daniel Floyd, the 24 McClellan. Straight to the inside there, Zane Floyd on, Daniel Floyd on the outside there. That 24 a little bit spoopy in the middle. Trying to hold on to his line, trying to hang in there. The 222 going for a broke early on to the bottom. Sneak around, slide him in, give a little bump and tag there. Oh, we've got big trouble there out of turn two, though, the 7 in. Of Trevor C. Williams and the 36 there. Trent Cameron getting into one another. 
They will refire and get him set back up. They will let him keep going. Tough break there from early on and out of the gate on the front straightaway. Three wide salute yet again out of the turn. Still almost three wide. They order it back in, bumping and running. Out of control action. This is already heat number one. And you already got one into the wall protection. That's 29 and Lane Phillips getting a big ouch on that one. So is a 71. Boat drivers all over the place here. It is Robert McClellan with the race lead, but the caution comes out. We've got a caution. Caution's out. Caution's out. Five laps to go still for this one here, but <laughs> already we're off to a hot start here. That was a crazy start. Robert McClellan, the 222, just firing on all cylinders. Meanwhile, that 17 of Brett Rowles is kind of hanging out. With the 13 is Zane Miller. Jarvis putting up a good fight early on. We'll see how well it holds up here. We had quite a bit of action going on there out the start. Our first caution of the night results in heat number one, so they will pace them way back around and get into position. Richard Murtaugh, uh, th th third, I hope I said that right, saying Rich Rich, and then Shane Gates saying, let's get it, uh, RRS and Team No Love. Great to have you on board, my friends. Packed house in here tonight, big fans, a lot of a lot of sponsors and drivers representing here. You see that 44 Ryko Motorsports Trace Shock. He's going to try to build some momentum back into this one, try to show up what he can for his team and his crew there. A lot of heavy hitters right now trying to play it out. Again, we are on the fat, one of the fastest tracks in the iRacing world. This is Knoxville Raceway. One of, if not probably, the toughest to master and toughest to get a good runner in position in. But tonight with this setup here, they're not running the iRacing setup. Oh, no. They're running a little bit of a more racy setup. They did a little tinkering and tampering with that setup. And I actually got the practice with it just a little bit while ago. I will say, like, it's a little bit harder to handle when you get into a slick spot, which honestly makes it a lot more fun and interesting because that makes it very racy, and especially when this track changes in time and quickly. You're going to see a lot of big moves and big runs coming from them, so expect the unexpected when the time comes. Driver's still firing around here. We're going to have five laps remaining here on the restart. As i got to believe McClellan right now is just shaping himself up, psyching himself up, just getting ready for this restart prepares to deal with the added pressure of the drivers right behind him i mean i know what it goes through a guy's mind like that man when you get into that spot you get into that run you're just thinking all right now we're in a good position and now we're getting a little bit of help because we're going to go to single file restarts but with the way the setup is this racy setup it's going to be a little tricky to not get a little too hard on the throttle too hard on the momentum here the amish 50 off to a pretty strong start here and Rich is saying it's Murtaugh. All right, Murtaugh, sir, excuse me, bud. I didn't mean to interrupt there. Pope Kim and then Jack Dow all the way up. And Eric Pope saying money here. Green flag is out. There's a, there's a lot of money on the line, and they're going for it. All right, here we go once more out of the gate. Out of turn one, down into turn two. Here comes that number one rocket racing setups machine of Johnny Rat, Radley. Radley trying to make a big move there on the inside zone. of the 24 is Daniel Floyd. Daniel trying to hold on to the middle section. Stay out of the slick. He says, I don't want to get a little slicky and slippery. I want to push and shove and get this one to the front. Yeah, on board camera here with Lane Phillips right now. Lane trying to possibly get a little bit of that draft line going in the middle. You can see him center in the corners up trying to really hammer it down, stay with it. But the pacing is continuing to fall more under what Robert McClellan wants to do. He'll hold on to the race lead here just a little longer. We're down to the final two laps. Green flag is out. We're going two to go. Floyd there right on the back straight away. We got a slider thrown right at him. That was Johnny Radley. Oh, he snuck it straight to the bottom there. He just wall bumped and banged that one around. I thought I was going to say wall bumped. He, cur he, cur he curve stomped that one in. That's how hard he was in the throttle. White flag is out for the lead, lead here in the heat number one. And they're already still bumping and banging. Five cars involved for this one. Three wide slew for the race lead. This is going to be crucial. This is the transfer the A main. Radley got a little bit of problems. That call gets spun there. Floyd managing to sneak away from all of them here. Radley needs a good run there at a turn three and four. They are side by side in the distance. But to the finish line, it's Daniel Floyd. He's going to win heat number one. Wow. Already, we're already on heat number one, folks. We haven't even started the show. And these guys are already throwing haymakers at one another and having some fun out there. How about that for heat number one, folks?
Rich, the Ro Richard, the Rocket Murtaz, they say, and Jordan McAvoy, the Amish 50. And, and I'm saying I got it right now. Okay, good. I want to make sure I got everything right before I start messing up things around here. Let's take a look at our heat number one results for the Amish 50. Dane Floyd wins that second, goes to Johnny Ratley, third to Brett Rowles, fourth to Lane Phillips, and fifth rounds out the field to Camden Johnson as we move into to our next heat which is heat number two, getting prepared and set. You hear the motors start to come alive there on the pole. Top Tanner Tomasi in the, in the 37 is outside. Gerald Miller in the 12. Run number two, it's Aaron Clark in the number 19 is outside. Ryan Gunner Gunnerson in number 86. Or number 80, excuse me. R Brian, yep, Brian Gunnerson, not Ryan. What did I say, Ryan? Row number three, Seth Castle in the seven is outside. Matt Fleschel, the number 21. Row number four, it's Richard Murta in the 31 is outside. Uh, I'm going to say your name wrong, man. I'm sorry. Gispe Musso in the 41. Row number five is going to be the 46 of William Hager H Hargreaves. And it is outside will be David Beattie in the 16. And your final starter sees Justin Simmons in the 33. Race fans, we're off to a hot start already. I have a bit of a battle and a half there. That's what you call smoking the gun out of the gate there. What a battle and a half there. See if we get a word with our driver from right, win number one there, Daniel Floyd. I don't know if we have him on the line here, if we'll be able to get to him. Uh, looks like we're not going to have time, unfortunately. Looks like we're already getting ready for the race here, so we will uh, leave them be and kind of keep it going. We'll talk with the drivers as we go along, folks. So be sure if you see, you hear their driver, if you want me to pull in somebody specific, you let me know. I will tell you if I can get him in or not. William Guyton saying, let's go. All right. Well, let's go indeed. Green flag's out. Heat number two is on the run. Apparently, already I got to fire my producers because they are not doing their job tonight. There you go. Took them long enough. Out of turn one, out of turn two, immediately out of the battle. Tanner Tomasi already trying to hold on to the 0-9 while the 12 there of Gerald Miller starts to sneak his way in. A lot of bumping and banging back there. You hear a lot of runs coming through. Three wide salute there for the battle for fifth. Seth Castle trying to make a big move in the middle there with the number seven. All the 21 of Matt Fletchell just says to heck with it. It sends her in with the 71, I should say, the 71J. Hard on the run, hard on the throttle, and on the momentum. There is battles amongst everywhere here. Tomasi still holding on. Miller, Gerald Miller trying to get him in that middle ground section, trying to hold on. They fire him down yet again out of turn one, back down into turn two once more. Both drivers in an equal footing, equals position. No one giving an inch just yet here. No one giving any problems, not so well. Miller now straight to the inside line. Tomasi. Hold it on, trying to fire it back at him, trying to keep it going with him as they make it through. Right back down on the corner yet again on the front straightaway. It's a battle for the race lead. Gerald Miller, he wants that top spot. He wants to be on row number one. He wants to have a piece of the pie tonight. The zero nine Tomasi says, I don't care what you want. Here in Iowa, I don't eat pie. I eat a lot of corn, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just continue on like I know how to do it. That was a bad line, I know, folks. I'll think of the better ones anyway. Justin Simmons right now in that 33. Dealing with Matt Castle here. Seth Castle, I should say, in the number seven. Seth trying to trying to play more of that middle section you saw a little earlier on there in heat number one. Well, you can see Simmons just trying to fall in line with his draft zone. Giespe Mosso, I swear to God, I swear I'm saying your name wrong, sir. Trying to run him hard on the front straightaway, looking for either one of these two to make a mistake. So you can hear him pounding that throttle away. Trying to make do and trying to make wits end. He's giving everything he's got here. Okay, and Scroggins needs an interview. We'll get we'll try and see if we get him a little later on. Right now, though, the pacing still pretty hot. We can't really bring anyone in at the moment. Seth Castle gonna have a little bit of company. Here comes the 33 of Richard Murta, the rock the rocket himself. Murta on the attack, trying to sneak his way in the inside there. Castle trying to defend him off. Not quite there just yet. He's going to be able to pace himself back and forth. Each of these drivers making a case for themselves for later on. And when they go to that A main or the C or B, wherever they land in this one. Final lap. White flag is out. Tomase is going to have some company here. Miller to the inside. Trying to make a run for it. Trying to make a smooth corner entry off. He couldn't quite get him there. They'll charge him down the back straight away. One more time. Set the turn up. And out of turn three, down to turn four. Tomasi gets a little wide there. Miller, I thought, might have a shot there, but it's not to be. 
Tomasi will win heat number two. Ryan Fraser, I'm in the race bus watching. Well, please don't text and drive when you're on the on the phone there, my man. You don't want to do that here. Tom Bossy wins E number two. We'll set up E number three in just a moment. Let's take it down and have a look at the Amish 50 Heat 2 results now on your scoreboard here. Tanner Tomasi wins this one. Second going to Gerald Miller. Third to Gaspe Muscle. Fourth to Matt Fletchell. And fifth to William Hargreaves. And that'll round out your top five there. Row number one in Heat number three. Says Chris Elliott in the 18 is outside. Keith Hackney in the 48. Row number two, Owen Clark. In the number four is outside Felix Roy in the 91. Row number three, Carl Kilgore the fourth in the 021 is outside Steven Lingenfelder in that 26. Row number four, Jesse Redding in the 721 is outside Tyler Jackson in the eight. Row number five, Garrett Marshall in the 789 and Jane Massey in the 45. And your final star sees Ryan Frazier in the 69 to round out your field. Some drivers going in, I guess, all white tonight. Uh, don't worry, folks. That's not textures we're missing. I don't think they look. I don't think they are all uh, loaded in properly. Maybe we might have to reload them in here. Okay, let's we'll see if we can get this one fixed up and running. There we go. Well, we got that part at least. Next, we get the cars. They're just popping up all white. We try to try to clear them out a little bit. Apparently, they uh, didn't quite clear out as well as we were hoping for. So I'm, I think actually I think that one is all gray here. So maybe I was uh, pushing the wrong button here. Sorry about that. <laughs> I guess you can see a car all white here, folks. I apologize in advance. There's really 50 cars in here tonight. We had to load for textures and all that. So please be aware that yeah, we're we're trying to get everybody loaded in and done right here. So I apologize for this one. This is going to be a really really difficult race to call because I have no idea who is who in this one. I'm sorry guys. On the green flag restart here. Here we go, out of the gate. Well, the only one we do know for sure is Tyler Jackson in that eight. Oh! <laughs> hey, he takes one of them for a ride there. That was Jesse Redding. Man, he got licked in a half there, man. He took a nice little smack there in the dabble area. Not sure if he appreciates that too much there. We'll see about that later on. Well, right now, Keith Hackney, I know you can't really you guys tell who's who and who's where, but Keith Hackney in the 48 is a race leader here. Felix Roy in the 91 currently having the race lead here, having the battle and a half here, coming down around out of turn one, back down into turn two. Yeah, I honestly don't know what's going on with the textures, guys. This thing just will not load up once at all. The whole field is just nothing but a bunch of white cars. I can't even tell who's who anymore. It's getting too hard to figure out anymore, man. Producers, you got to get down there and fix this up right now because I can't call this race without knowing who's who. I just know Carl Kilgore, the fourth, and uh, Felix Roy. Keep acting here in top three at the moment. Running them hard in right now. Keith Hackney still pretty much just kind of laying into this one here. Rented pretty good. Really trying to figure out still why we're still not getting the proper textures around here. Wait a minute, it looks like we finally, hey, there we go. I think we finally got him to work here. Well, at least the drivers are somewhat popping up around here. There, there we go, Keith Acne there. He's finally getting his car to look up to stuff. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that again, guys. I don't know what happened there. All right, so with only two laps left to go here. Pacing right now, still going to Carl Kilgore, the fourth. As he tries to hang on there while Felix Roy in the 91 tries to stay alive and in, still on the run. Hackney still trying to hold on the outside, trying to make a run for it. 
Lingenfelter and all them behind him trying to keep up the pace. White flag is out for both drivers here right now. Currently, it is kill, it is the number 91 of Kilgore still trying desperately to hold on just a little longer there from but he is having some troubles there, or excuse me, the 91 of Felix Roy, the 21 there, Kilgore. Not gonna have enough time there out of turn two, to, turn three and four to get him. This time it's going to keep acting. He will take on the race win in heat number three. That might be the, hopefully that is the only time we have issues in, in the heats here. Matt Fletcher saying, my training paints messed up too. I add, I had to click training paints on home screen, re-download everything. Robert Dudley saying, what's up from Dudleyville? And then Jeremy Vaughn racing saying, restart training paints. Well, that's what I did actually. Yeah, everyone's having trouble. So uh, I guess it wasn't just me that time, thankfully. So that's good news. All right, so the heat finishing up here. We'll take a look at our Heat 3 results now up on the scoreboard here, and then I'll have to do a quick refresh. So Keith Hackney wins this. Keith Felix Roy goes second, third to Carol Gilgore, the fourth, fourth to Chris Elliott, and then fifth to Jamie Massey, rounding out the field there. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we're rounding them down here. Heat number four coming our way. Jim Revis in the 24 is outside. Cannon Scroggins in the uh, A18. Uh, row number two is going to be Charles C. Barnes in the 25 is outside the 43 of David Day. Row number three, Christopher Hill in the five is outside the 32 of Darren Ramsey. Row number four is going to be Donnie Dorsey in the 420 is outside the 40 of Dylan Simmons. Row number five, Brandon M. Roberts in the 47 is outside the 101 of, of Davin Cardwell. And then Jordan Gage will round out the field in the triple zero. I also should have put the screen up when I had the chance here, so that's my fault, guys. All right. We're getting ready to go to the action, but first, we have a little word from our sponsors here tonight. Tonight's race has been brought to you in part by the good friends over at Ooze Motorsports. Ooze Motorsports, tonight they are throwing down the big money here. They are sponsoring $250 to this race, $150 to the overall payout, and $50 to the hard charger. $10 to five mystery spots here tonight. Thank you again to Ooze Motorsports for your support. And this is also brought to you in part by TP Graphics. The TJ Pollard is sponsoring this, a free wrap to fifth and 12 and last in the feature race. Today is what they'll be going for here tonight. Race fans, it is time to finally get this one dialed in. And I'm getting word right now from everybody that they were having troubles. Looks like Training Paints had a, tr had a trouble there or something. At least I know it wasn't all me, so... All right, this time by, we get that run going, get the green flag out. There's a bunch of 21s up front. I don't think I got a good idea who might win this one, but on the green flag, we'll see how that plays out. Out of the gate, crossover right out of the gate, immediately there from the 21 of Charles C. Barnes. I immediately can, can and Scroggins. Oh, my. Big wreck right behind him there. Three, four cars involved. Caution tail. Oh, boy. That one got a little crazy. Uh, we'll have to go to the PTM Instant Replay and have a little word with this one here and see what happened. I'm trying to figure everything out here. Here is the PTM Instant Replay in all of its glory here, guys. So that way you guys can get a better idea of what happened here. Well, coming out of turn two there, looks like the five got into each other. And then the five H got a little tag. And next thing you know, the Twisted T actually went twisted. Didn't hit him like that one guy did that one time with the twisted tee, but then again, that's just me. So Cad and uh, Kate, Cad and Scroggins, he's going to be up there with the boys here. Jim Revis is going to be your uh, race leader here at the moment. Let's see if that 21 can hold on to this and hold on to the position here as we continuously get him through here on the first caution. Sam Parrish saying Caden, oh Caden Scroggins, okay, I thought it was Caden, I don't know why I said Caden, oh, my bad guys. So Caden Scroggins here tonight, looking to possibly put something up to good use, put him up to a fight or two, see how well that works out for him. Scott Ramsey say, saying um, go Darren Cody Ramsey, well, we'll see if he's able to hold on to that one because right now, He's got a little bit of work to do in the back here. 
That 42 Twisted T is going to be a little damaged up beyond repair, but hopefully his car can last out. Or it looks like actually he's pretty clean out there. I think he might have gone in for an instant repair. I think they have instant repairs already set up for him. So, so here we go, guys. We're getting refired, recentered. Make their way to the charge, make their way through the field. We've got a bunch of heavy hitters still needing to finish this one out. Bring that green flag back out, and here we go. Right out of the gate, throwing them in. Half fly three, wide slow down out of turn two. There you saw that 70 machine get right in between them. That's Darren Card, that's Davin Cardell. Cardwell, I should say. Cav or Cardwell doing a pretty good job there in the middle, holding on. Now he's trying to fire his way back up to the front. Jim Rivas doing a pretty good job holding on to that spot here out of the gate while the rest of the field tries to get up to him. Caden Scroggins on the attack, though. The full throttle assault has been initiated as he tries to get up there to Rivas. And you can see that car is bumping and banging around. They say it's racing. Well, that means they're going to be a little hard to control. Three wide salute there out of turn four. Jordan Cage, he is the meat of the sandwich here. He wants to play fiddle and try to hang in there. Usually don't see these guys bouncing and banging around that much, but you don't, But that's one thing that's beauty about the setup is you can do that. The 21C there of Mr. Charles C. Barnes now on the attack. And here comes the haymaker thrown by Jordan Cage right from the bottom straight to the outside. He throws it in there pretty well there. We've got a huge battle for second. And Jim Rebus is loving every minute of this. He knows he doesn't have to worry about it. Oh, my. They hold on to that one. David Day managing to keep himself in line. Got a little bit too uh, up into the grill up with that 5X. Thankfully, though, he's okay. And now here comes Ronnie Dorsey there on the bo on the bottom there of his end. Now front of him. Oh, a little bit of a tag there out of that, too. Hard racing to be had here. We're the onboard camera here. Jordan Gage as he currently now pulls it through ahead. Just a little bit of Caden Scroggins and Davin Cardwell there. Both drivers in a pretty solid run there. Caden needs to get some momentum built up quickly because he's only down to two laps to go if he wants to hang with them. Down the front straightaway once again here. Everybody on the attack, on the battle here. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide around here. It's either you full throttle run it or you get out of the way because you have nowhere to survive on this track. The bottom line is starting to pick up a little bit. The outside, I guarantee you, it's coming in. It's just a matter of time. White flag is out for Mr. Jim Remus. That 21 is looking like the Reaper on his, on his car door number because right now he is reaping the rewards of this track and this heat number four result. Out of turn three, down in turn four. Everybody kind of piled in and doing a single file start. Revis will send it to the A main. He wins it here in heat number four. Second going to Charles C. Barnes, third to Jordan Gage, fourth to Davin Cardwell, and fifth to Caden Scroggins to round out your field. For your top five results, I should say. Here is the top five now, the Amish 50 top five. Up on the scoreboard here, as well as the other 11, as well as the other six drivers. 11 drivers going in. They'll have to find their way back into the B and C main here in a little bit. But right now, though, we're getting ready for heat number five now on the screen. Heat number five, folks. We're gonna see it. Chad Peterson, the 50, is outside the 35. Uh, Chad McClellan. Row number two is gonna be Jesse Wall, and the two is outside. Double zero two. Clifford Bellamy. Run number three, Jeremy Vaughn in the 20 is outside. A.J. Ogle in the 08. Run number four, Jesse Osborne in the number nine is outside. The 422, Jordan McAvoy. Run number five, Butch Baker in the 97 is outside. Sage Luther in the 34. And the final starter sees Briar Zimmerman in the double zero. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get back to the action, get back to the track, and get back to some racing now, shall we? I think we might have a chance to pull somebody in here at this point. I think we're getting a chance here. Maybe we can try to hold out someone. Let's see if we can talk with one of our guys here. We'll talk with Mr. Steven Lingenfelter if we can here. Lingenfelter, you got a copy there, sir. You got a copy, Lingenfelter? Nope, that would be it. Oh, you're here. Hey, Lingenfelter. Hey, man. I always saw you a little earlier on there in the heats. Unfortunately, not quite uh, going the way you were hoping for, but... 
right now, uh, how is the track feeling when you were out there, and how's that setup feel to this tonight? Track feels all right. Uh, I think I'm getting my eyes open. Yeah, it seems like this track's going to be a little bit of a tough one to kind of get around, and the uh, the eyesight's going to definitely be a big part of us one here tonight. But Lincoln Felcher, appreciate you taking time to talk with us here, man. We're about ready to get back to racing. We'll see you here in the uh, CMV mains here in just a bit, okay? Sir, thank you. Yep, Stephen Lincoln Felcher there having a little word with us real quick. As we line them up into position here, they'll drive them down out of turn three. And no, I swear the 35 does not have a uh, custom paint on that one. That's the only reason why I see him in kind of one of the casual paints here. Reeling, dealing, wheeling back in, boys. Let's get back to the action. Here we go. I do see your comments as well. I will let you guys know. I'm reading them. I'm just kind of having to work around everything else here at the moment. Gurley, a one-man wrecking crew. And speaking of one-man wrecking crew, everybody wrecking them on that front, on the back straightaway, holding for dear life. Oh, my. They hanged in there. Clipper Bellamy. Yeah, I think he's got a lucky charm in there because that double zero two was literally inches from getting sent to the upper room. Cars on their way down around out of turn one, down in turn two yet again here. Oh my, they're wrecking big time there. So much for the lucky charms going for them. Looks like Jordan McAvoy getting into that one as well. Both drivers going to have to hold on to that. Jesse Osborne, that number eight, he is firing all cylinders. The Dirt Panda machine is on the attack. He's going for Chad Peterson and Jesse Wall right now as they lead him in. Down and around the corners yet out of turn one, down turn two. Jesse Wall now on the, on the throttle, on the pedal. The 37 of Chad Peterson is in his line of sight. Will we see the slider thrown? Oh, he brings it up. No, he says no. Hold on a minute. I'm not ready for it yet. I'll let you know when I'm ready here, my man. Well, right about now, I think you either get it figured out quickly or you get it done a little sooner because right now you're running in the slickest of territories. And Chad's not exactly giving you a breather here, but he is firing all cylinders. Jesse Osborne, there's no secret. We know this man. He's a hard charging our racer around here on these parts. And he is firing on all cylinders right now, trying to get it up there with Peterson and Wall. All three drivers in a pretty solid state for the race lead. We saw the chaos and pandemonium right behind him earlier. Right, they slowed it down just a little bit here while Jeremy Vaughn in that number 20 machine right now firing back up. Excuse me, the number eight, I should say. He's getting up closer there with Osborne as well as Peterson as Jesse Wall takes over the race lead. We've got ourselves a new leader in heat number five. That time by Wall would have had him by about a, cut about a half a car length there. Peterson right in it to win it here. Osborne still trying to make a move around both of them here. Vaughn just kind of hanging in the back here at the moment. I think he's just kind of being patient. Maybe searching for opportunity when the time comes to strike. Running their way through down the front straight away yet again. Now it is Chad Peterson. Desperately trying to pull some runs on the bottom like you saw with Jesse Wall a little bit ago. But Jesse right now is just running the tack, running the grip, and he knows what he's up to. Osborne now on the th on the full throttle assault charge and a little bump and run there. Tagging that 37 of Peterson. Oh, my, that Dirt Panda got a little bit too hairy there. White flag is out. And here it comes now. Here it comes right back down the bottom here. Throwing for the slider. He's going to get him close. It gets right into him out of turn two. Vaughn sees opportunity. He's going for broke. Briar Zimmerman's right there with him. The double zero Z going to fire it hard. But coming, or coming out of turn three into four. The two of Jesse Wall wins this one. Second goes to Peterson. Third Osborne. And Vaughn barely holds on. Zimmerman finishing fifth. Tremendous race there for heat number five. And now there's just one heat left. And then you guys know what time it is. Oops. Yep, excuse me. Actually, that was the uh, last of them. So now we're going to our C main event here. So, But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at heat five's results. I thought we would have a heat six, but it turns out we only have a heat five. All right, race results. Jesse Wall wins it. Second to Chad Peterson. Third to Jesse Osborne. Fourth to Jerry Vaughn. And then fifth to Briar Zimmerman. Rounding out your field, the top. 11 there as you see in the track all paced around and set up for this one now ladies and gentlemen it's time for your c main event of the evening on the pole aj ogle in the 08 is outside trace shock in the 44 
Row number two, Justin Simmons in the 33 is outside Garrett Marshall in the 789. Row number three, Darren Ramsey in the 32 is outside Clifford Bellamy. Row number four, Zane Miller and is outside David Beatty. Row number five, Ryan Frazier is outside Brandon Ian e. Roberts. Row number six, Butch Baker and is outside James Ellington. Row number seven, we're going to see here is going to be Aaron Clark and is outside Jesse Redding. Row number eight, Dylan Simmons is outside Jordan McAvoy. Row number nine, Trent Cameron and is outside Brian Gunderson. Row number 10, Owen Clark and is outside Christopher Hill. At the final starter seats, Chad McClellan and the outside him, Trevor C. Williams. Race fans, see main event on your screen, on your show. It is time to go for broke and throw all the haymakers you can around here. As we go along, we'll try to actually bring drivers in in this one. We'll try to have a word with them or two. Let's see if we can get one word real quick with Ryan Frazier. Frazier, do you have the copy, sir? Yeah. All right, man, coming in real quick before we get to the action. Uh, what's the strategy here in the C main? Uh... It's a stacked field, so it's hard to tell. All right, well, we'll leave it at that and go from there. Thank you again for your time here, bud. Yep, thank you. Ryan Frazier having one quick word with us right now as we get ready to set the tone, set the pace. They will go on green. They wait for it. Double zero didn't even go off the line. Clipper didn't even go. But for Bellamy did not get off the line. And James Ellington ends up going set for a ride. Hold on a minute. First caution of the night here, and damage already done up there to Ellington. We're going to go to the PTM Instant Replay and have a word of this one. Hold on a minute. What the heck happened here? So watch the double zero two. He doesn't even go out the line. These guys are already pushing him around. There's like, wait a minute, I need to go. And then James and them just kind of tagged in. No one wins. Then McAvoy gets in. So is the rest of the field. Ellington with some damage there on that front fender there. That will hold him back a little bit, I guarantee you. So that'll slow down the drivers for just a little bit here. Let's go have a word here with our friend here, Trace Shock. Trace, you got a copy down there, sir. Yes, sir, brother. Hi, right, Trace, man. Good to have you on board here tonight. Uh, how's things uh, holding up for you after the uh, heat you had earlier? Uh, we had a bad run in the heat, so put us here in the C main, but track's been reset. Hopefully we can roll the bottom here and put us in the B main and work our way up through the B and possibly transfer to the A. For sure there. Now, obviously, with um, this running from C to B to A, uh, does that really play a bigger factor in really just trying to make big moves earlier, or do you try to try to lighten up and then go for the runs later if you have them? Uh, you just lighten up and try to go for the runs later, stay out of, stay out of trouble, avoid the wrecks, and... Really, it'll help with getting track time. The, the way for the feature, you'll be ready for the feature with the track will feel during the feature time. All right, Trace, appreciate you taking time to talk with us, sir. Trace Shock having a little word real quick as we're about ready to bring the drivers back to the green flag, it looks like. Base lights are off on the truck, which means one thing, we're getting ready to go back to the action here. There's a lot of drivers to talk with here tonight and a lot of you great fans out there at home as well. Trey Henson rooting on earlier for J-Mac. That's the thing. I think I cursed McAvoy as soon as I say his name, and a wreck still wrecking. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> I've done it before, man. Alex Wynn sent earlier on saying, "Go, Darren and Brandon. Great to have you on board, sir." And again, I do see your guys' comments. I do apologize if I can't get to you right away. It's unfortunately there's a lot going on, a lot of driving and happening here. So just be patient, be aware. I am seeing your comments, and I'm seeing you guys talk with us. Let's go have one quick word here with Clifford. Clifford, what happened on the restart, man? You couldn't even get off the line. Uh, this one, yeah. I don't know what the guy was doing. I guess he was just so anxious to go to the B main. I guess so. I guess I wanted to start before you did. But now that they, so. now they've all kind of slowed down, you think maybe now you can get this thing figured out? Uh, hopefully. I'm glad it's not as slick right now. For sure there. Nevertheless, Clifford, great to have you on board, sir. Thank you. Clifford Bellamy right now going back to the track, back to the action here. As they line them down around, can we get a green flag this time, boys? Yes, we can. Green flag is out. This time, we're much cleaner on the start. Well, they're already in a bit of a tight situation here. Caution's out yet again. We've got a caution. We've got a caution. 
Ryan Gunnarsson, Dylan Simmons, and Trent Cameron involved in this one. And that will send us down to the PTM instant replay, unfortunately. We'll have to see what happened here on that one. Here is our PTM instant replay brought to you by Ooze Motorsports Sports and TP Graphics here, guys. Take a look at this one. Cody Myers, what's up, man? Great to have you on board, bud. Looks like the 19 just kind of got into one another, got kind of caught up there from, uh, looks like, I think that might have been, I think that was Gunderson. No, that wasn't Gunderson. That was, I'm uh, way off of my, way off of my calculations there. No, that was uh, Dylan Simmons, unfortunately. I got right into him off the start there. So the drivers are pacing back around there. PC missed the replay, now complete. Uh, some of the drivers just trying to hang on, not wreck each other, but unfortunately they kind of get closer to each other than they want to be. Well, while they start to get things uh, cool down and figured around here, we'll have a little word here with some of the guys. Adam Ogle, do we have you as AJ Ogle here tonight, man? What's up, man? We, all right, we got. We just want to see if we got you on the line here tonight. It's just a little bit of a different name from our uh, chat line that we see on the track. Just, how's things going down there for you? Uh, we're rolling around under yellow. We can get lined up full race. A lot of fast guys in here. Just hoping to do my best. For sure there. Now, do you think with those fast guys out there, do you uh, do you think that because of that, that's why everyone's being extremely aggressive off the starts here? Uh, no, that's just where some people feel like they. It's just that's how the racing is on here. Really aggressive starts. Really aggressive racing. We don't got to fix our shit. For sure there. Well, nevertheless, uh, AJ, we do appreciate you tuning on in, man. Best of luck on this restart. Yep. AJ Ogle, you can hear a little bit of the frustration in his voice trying to get himself figured out. And sorry, kids, I can't we'll bleep these things out as quick as you probably want me to here. Well, they're still having problems back there. The 19 all over the place. Couldn't even get off the line there. Well, they're going to bring it to green. Will they keep it green? Well, it looks like we're going to keep it green out the start here. The 789 of Garrett Marshall already outside looking in hard on the throttle. Pushing up fourth here down the back straightaway. All right. That's a lot better, boys. That's a lot better. Well, the 47 there, Brandon M. Roberts having a little bit of a get go around there. Oh, man, right into the wall protection goes. The 13 there, unfortunately, losing all his ground. Zane Miller. Oh, he's still into people. Upside down. Miller is on his roof. Caution, caution. And a major one at that. Red flag there for Zane Miller. Holy smokes. You saw that on the camera there. He just got hooked into the upper room and then some. Zane going for a ride and a half there. Unfortunately, nowhere to go and nowhere to get out of. And that cost him dearly there. We'll have to take a look at the PTMS replay and find out what happened here exactly. I got to believe, though, it was just just a little bit of a bad look and a bad situation there on his end. It looks like we don't have the PTMS replay up and running yet, so we're just going to leave that alone, I guess. I thought we would get it up and running quicker, but apparently not. The producers are a little slow tonight here, guys. I apologize. Well, let's go have a little word here with one of our guys we just talked about a minute ago here, Brandon Roberts in the uh, Bams Oil 47. Brandon, you got the copy, sir. You got a copy down there, Brandon? Somebody pull the strings. He's not talking down here. All right, looks like we do not have him on the line here, unfortunately. So we had him on the on call, but we didn't have him with us. Brandon Scroggins saying LMAO. You know what that means, guys. McAvoy saying, Trent, this stuff, stuff. That's what he's basically saying. Alec Woodson, get him. Get him, Darren. I sure love having you guys on board here tonight. We'll have a word also with our boy Caden Scroggins here in a little bit when we get to him. I promise you that because you guys seem to want to bring him in so bad. So when I get to him, I'll find him. I'll promise you that. I believe he is in with us here tonight in the uh, chat line. Let me double check before I say anything else. I'm actually, I'm not seeing him on the uh, on the online position here. I don't see him at all. I guess we do not have him with us, so. Yeah, I'm looking, folks. They're telling me, though, we do not have him with us, unfortunately, on the lines. So, 
Hopefully he joins a little later on. Maybe if he wins the top three, we can talk with him a little later on. But right now the green flag is back on out. We're back underway. We got a few laps in. Can we get the whole laps in now? Well, looks like we think we might just get a little bit more of it. Garrett Marshall right to the bottom line there out of the gate here. Trace Shock trying to hold him off. Marshall and Simmons now firing for position, firing at it here. Remember, there's only selective spots you can get in. You got to work from the C, then get to the B, and then go from there. Oh, my. Clifford Bellamy. Oh, he's looking for the daily double there on a turn two. He's got it. The 44 right beside him here trying to hang on, but because that little bobble he had a minute ago, that's slowed him down tremendously here. It's a grudge and a slugfest here for drivers. They're trying to survive and stay out of the way here. It is a racy setup out here tonight. There is no holding back on their runs and holding back on their spots. McAvoy's birthday is today here as well, so you know he's looking for a birthday present. That's that 422 out there. I can't say he can't get a birthday present from winning in the race, though. I already told he already has a win on the PT Racing TV channel, so he doesn't have to worry about that for a birthday present. If you know a $500 richer wouldn't be too bad. Coming across back in line here once more here. AJ Ogle desperately trying to get back up there to Garrett Marshall. Marshall does have the race lead in the 79 design graphics machine. Talk about hammering away and hammering down in the infields in the zone. Bellamy trying to possibly sneak his way across the line. Oh! AJ Ogle into the wall. Protection there out of turn two. That slows him down tremendously here. Looks like Bellamy looking for the run. Can he get it to grip? You heard him say earlier, I heard him say to me earlier on, all I want to do is just get past the C main. If I can do that, I think I might have a shot at this. Well, right now he's doing a pretty good job at that. The whole field right now pacing their way down into the back straightaway. Coming back here, looks like we got a run coming from Mr. David Beatty. And that's 16, while the 32 is Darren Ramsey right now tries to hang on. Justin Simmons in the 33 right in front of them both. You can just see the intensity and what these drivers are fighting right now on this onboard shot. This is what they go through on a daily basis on the iRacing circuit. But when you're coming up against a big money pit like this, the feel gets even more intense and it just makes you grip that wheel a little tighter. Four laps to go here for this, for this C main event, B main coming up after this. And then it's the A main big vent. The big time show, $500 on the line. Darren Ramsey right now looking to possibly make a little bit of a move or two in between straight to the inside zone. The 33 trying to hang in there. Oh, the 42, I should say, right now is on the inside line as well. The 33 of Justin Simmons now gets a little bit more push trying to get around there. Trey Shock, Shock slows down. Looks like Ramsey, three to go. And now the 16 and David Bet beat Beatty. He is having problems all over the place. Here comes the 422 of McAvoy. He wants the final transfer. They crash right there and out of the turn four. Hard out of there. They are back and bashing, banging, beating, and bumping for everything they got with only two to go. AJ hey, Ogo now is going to try one last big move. Why? Oh, no, 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 no. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Trevor C. Williams looks like he came to a little bit of a stand hold there, and I think he was slowed out just a little bit for their liking. We'll take it to the PTM Instant Replay real quick and see what happened here. Bit of a three wide salute there, and looks like the 7N getting running into Beatty. Beatty and him tagging each other, the 97. Oh, he came to finish the job up all right. And then, oh man. Ellington just got a lick and a half of both of those drivers there. He just smacked them hard. Ouch. So now might be an opportunity here for one of these drivers to possibly take this one over. Let's take a listen here with Jordan McAvoy real quick. We'll have a little cool in here. Hey, birthday boy. How's things going down there, man? It's going good. All right. Hey, it's been a while since we've heard from you and seen you in the big show like this, but... Obviously, with a little bit of damage there, that you've had to struggle with these guys here. Uh, how much is the car holding up for these final laps? 
Uh, we're in this we're in this last transfer spot here, so uh, we just gonna hold on for as long as we can for the last two laps here. For sure, there. I know you got Roberts has obviously been praying pretty hard there, and you got Rams as well. You've been fighting with. Do you think you got enough to do it? I feel like uh, I can get around uh, Brandon here on this restart, hopefully, and then just try to pick another guy off so I'm not on the bubble. For sure, there. Well, you got Trent Henson ruining you on in a great frown base here, and um, I guess you got me here as well ruining you on the birthday boy for a little bit. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Good luck on this last restart. Jordan McAvoy having one little word. He had his birthday here today, so I thought we'd give him a little birthday present. And it's not $500 worth, but I mean, it's still a birthday present there, McAvoy. Hope you don't mind. Single file restart in this one, guys. They'll line them up into position. Get ready for this restart here, folks. They're coming out of turn three and four. Garrett Marshall needs to hold on. It's a green, white checker, two to rock, two. And then you go green, white, and then that's the checkered. Bellamy's pretty much locked this one up. He just needs to finish strong. Simmons and Shock are battling hard for a position. Well, you know, McAvoy's prattling for a transfer. He sneaks his way to the inside there. Robert's going to go straight out, trying to maybe dime it off it, but looks like McAvoy might have a run there on the bottom. White flag is out now this time by... David Beatty, unfortunately, a little bit behind. He's definitely trying to hold on. Looks like the four there of Owen Clark might have a little something right into the 16. But they slow him on down there. McAvoy just needs to finish and get it to the end to be a final transfer. We're coming out of turn three and four. The 789 Designs graphics, Garrett Marshall will win. He, C main, and transfer to the B. And Bellamy, you got your wish, bud. You're going, to the C, you're going from the C main. And McAvoy is your final transfer. So here's your transfers. McAvoy, M. Roberts, Ramsey, Shock, Simmons, Bellamy, Ogle, Marshall. That will be the C main going to the B main. What a run there, my friends. What a battle. And we're still not done. We have more for you. Let's get to the action here. Let's keep it going. Keep this rolling. Driver's finishing out here as we get a beautiful look at the stage here. Knoxville Raceway, absolutely beautiful facility to say the least. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Your C main results coming up on the scoreboard here now. And that will lead you in to the B main event. And then one last chance at immortality on PTM Racing TV and winning home some big money on the pole. Camden Johnson, and the outside of him will be William Har Hargreaves. Row number two, Jamie Masseed is outside. Caden Scroggins. Row number three, Briar Zimmerman is outside. Dan Stifler. Row number four, Steph Castle is outside. Tyler Jackson. Row number five, David Dade is outside. Sage Luther. Row number six, Robert McClellan is outside. Richard Murtaugh Jr. Row number seven, Stephen Lingenfelter is outside. Donnie Dorsey. Row number eight, Garrett Marshall is outside AJ Ogle. Row number nine, Clifford Bellamy is outside Justin Simmons. Row number 10, it's going to be Mr. Darren Ramsey. Row, and now final starters, Brandon M. Roberts in row 11 is outside. Jordan McAvoy, race fans, this is your last chance. This is your last opportunity. How bad do you want to see one of these boys get to the A main? How bad do they want to go in? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to find out. Ooh, get a little it, get a little chills up in the booth here tonight. Well, I saw a little love from Murta earlier tonight, so go ahead and bring him in real quick. Richard Murta, you got a copy real quick, sir? I do. All right, hey man, real quick, you got a little bit of love in the fan base here tonight. We want to bring you in right before we get this race started. What's the game plan here in this B main? Uh, just try to not get wrecked on lap one this time. We uh, we're the fastest in our in our heat by three tenths. So we've been uh, really fast all week with uh, with all my uh, my new teammates preparing for this race. So got a good piece under us. We'll uh, see see how we go here uh, coming to the green. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us here tonight, Richard. Thank you again for the support, man. Richard Murta Jr. gonna go for broke, go for big. The drivers set them down. They settle them in. Off the line through the chicane, green flag is out. B main last chance to make big money. 
four wide out of turn one. They're already fired on all cylinders, trying to make it work. They hang it in there, still four wide out of turn two. Briar Zimmerman, the double zero Z, was going for broke immediately. Oh, I mean, double zero two, but he gets into the eight there. Oh, Tyler Jackson, Jackson, managing to recover. Name can't be said for some of the others there. It looks like Darren Ramsey just all over the place. Oh, boy. Ah, one got a little crazy there. Talk about wild moments right out of the gate. I guess these guys wanted to start up in a wildest of ways here. Can't blame them. Now the driver's trying to get pace back into position here, trying to fire back up some positions. We'll see how well they uh, handle the nerves, handle themselves out here. Let's see what happens here. Right now the driver's currently getting set back around the pace sack, trying to get all cornered off a little bit, fixed up after the damage they suffered there. Some drivers kind of coming away a little bit scathed, some coming away a little bit more clean. Going on to the Briar Zimmerman camp here. Briar, you got a copy there, my friend? Yes, sir, I got you. Hey man, right now as we're about ready to get back to the go to the green flag here, um, what a risky move you threw right out of the gate there. You were going for broke, weren't you? Yes, sir. In these uh, freaking V mains here, you know they only take the top five. You gotta make moves early. Um, I don't know what happened with me and T Jax. I didn't get any contact points, but I, I had to apologize for him for that. For sure, there. Well, on the restart, um, you feel pretty confident on this one, or you think you'll be able to make it? I feel pretty good. Um, figured, you know, we got 20 laps, 20 long laps around this half mile. Probably just get locked in, ride, let these guys ahead of me do their thing, and maybe capitalize on a few mistakes. All right, sounds pretty good to me here right now, Briar. You're going for broke, going for a cool $500 on the line. Best of luck down there, and uh, we'll send you back to the chat you're going to, my friend. All righty, thank you. Uh, which one are we going to, by the way? I didn't ask. <laughs> Uh, I want to say it's room six with Clifford. Okay, just double check it. Good luck down there, bud. All right. Yeah, if you guys can tell, we have uh, rooms that you guys go to, so I do have to uh, kind of remind myself every now and then who's going where and who goes what. So. All right, so we'll clear that overlay up real quick. Get this one fixed in. 15 laps still need to go by here, folks. They'll run them down around out of turn three, down in turn four. They make the charge, they make the run, they are going this time by Camden Johnson. Oh, I guess maybe we're not going on the screen this time by. Nope, we're still under caution. I gotta believe right now their drivers are a little bit out of control, a little bit crazy in this one. They're just trying to get evened out, not too over the top here. They know they don't want to go over the moon. got word as well if you're the winner of this B main they are going to be offered a $50 cash prize to stay away from the A main we'll talk to them in a minute here because the green flag comes back on out we'll see how that plays out here right out of the gate here immediately on the outside line looks like there's a run coming from the from the two of William here excuse me the two there of Jamie Massey Massey trying to hold on a big position in between there you see the 71 of William Hager, I believe that is William ha yeah, that is William Hargreaves. A bit of a unique name, I have to try to figure out how to say that one. And right behind him, well, kind of obvious there, the 21K, Caden Scroggins. Scroggy on the attack and on the throttle. Hard on the charge, hard on the run there in between. He shoots the gap a little bit, looks like he may be trying to make a move. Cross thread out of turn four, cross him over and makes a move. Dana Tyler Jackson giving, a, giving the a little love tap as we like to call it around here to hear our griefs. 
They'll lead him back in. Now Hargreaves going to go on the throttle there. Of Scroggy. Scroggy trying to hang in there. It looks like we got a big move coming around out of turn three and four slider thrown. And it was thrown there from the, at the 23 by Jamie Massey. Camden Johnson, I don't know if he appreciated that too much. I think he's going to throw one right back at him and try to keep it tight and cornered off. Right in out of position. Oh my, wait a minute. Look in the back. Four wide salute down the front straightaway. Oh, ho -ho. Steven Liegefelter. And looks like Mr. Richard Murtaugh, David Day, and Sage Luther, man. They were running that one in the ground. Oh my. Well, they're still three wide. They don't want to give up. But that's where the crossovers get a little too crazy. Murtaugh desperately trying to get to the A main. He wants a piece of the pie tonight. They are hard on the throttle. Sling and Felter falling back behind a little bit here. He needs a help or two. As they fire back in, caution comes out. We've got problems. We've got problems. Straight shock. Looks like he gets involved in this one. Not sure exactly what happened here or what went down exactly. Don't know if we'll get a full instant replay on that one. I think, oh, yes, we do actually. We have a full instant repair on that one. They lead them around here, and it looks like, come on, watch out of turn one and two here. Watch this. Oh, 789, man, he got a complete stop there. He wasn't even going, and the boys just got sidewinded there, completely out of existence. So that will run them back through and get them centered back away here a little bit. Hopefully that is the last time we had to see the big old caution come out and rear its ugly head. Been a shocker among all shockers. A lot of great races in between. A lot of hard battles from there to then. Let's see if we can talk with one of our guys from earlier on here, Mr. Robert McClellan. We'll have a word with him here, rocking that 222 machine. See how he's holding up. Robert, do you have the copy, sir? Got a copy, Robert? Looks like somebody pull the strings. He's not talking down there. Might have a little bit of an uh, influx there going on on the radio chat there, so we might not be able to bring him in. So we'll go ahead and put him back in there and leave him alone. Remember, if, we can't, if they can't hear us, we can't hear them. So we can't really do much about that, guys. So they'll realign them around here, get ready to fire away again. back through the field running back in off the restart here it is a hard charge here for Jamie Massey as he leads him in Hargreaves right out of the gate here and a look at the crossover between there that's her too what a move there by Caden Scroggins Scroggy oh -ho. he had it he saw an opening he's like well I might as well be a thief in the night and just sneak my way into this one boys Man, did he have to fire on all cylinders to make that one work, and he managed to do it beautifully done. Tyler Jackson now looks like after being put in the back a little bit, he's hard charging around here. Richard Murtaugh Jr. going in, four wide, cornered off, three wide down. Ah, oh, bump banging, slanging, dragging, four, five wide on the all star. Are you absolutely kidding me here? Oh! Yeah, they were in a little bit of trouble there. Jackson almost taking for a ride there. You don't believe me when I see it. This is some of the best races we've seen here in a while. Four wide sluice, three wides, and nearly a five wide at times. They will throw anything they got to the wall and then some for $500 in this Amish 50. This is what it's all about for these drivers. Massey, though, is the race leader. Hargreaves desperately trying to hang in there, trying to stay with it. William trying to see if maybe he can make a move on the inside, maybe get a run off of him. He's hammering down. He's giving her everything she's got, but it's just not sticking the way he wants to. As
As the yellow flag comes out once again here, we got problems there. Darren Ramsey and it looks like Trey Shock yet again involved in this one here. Let's take it to the PT Mr. Replay. Looks like we didn't even get our. Looks like we didn't even get the uh, overlay back up there. Well, they were wrecking pretty hard there. Oh, couldn't even see what happened exactly. Oh. Alright, so we are currently down to eight laps to go here. So that will uh, set back our pace here, set our set our sights on some drivers here, and hopefully we'll get this one kind of closer to the end here. Let's go to have a little word here with some of our boys here. Right now we have Seth Castle on the line here. Seth, you got a copy down there, sir. Yes, sir, I got you. Well, I'm glad somebody's mic's working around here tonight. Hey, what a battle <laughs> you had there in the heat. And obviously tonight, man, you're throwing everything you got to the wall here in this B main. Yeah, I got to, man. <laughs> I've, uh, I've already paid. I paid once already and, and backed out. Didn't think I was going to make it. So gave that entry to somebody else and then decided I could make it. So paid again to get in the show. So, yeah, so I'm giving it all I can to get up in there. So you're pretty much double dipped here tonight. Um, if you were able to win here tonight, though, uh, w would you say to possibly, you know, taking that $50 instead of going to the A main? Would you think about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm taking the money and running. <laughs> uh, we thought we'd ask, but at least we know what yeah. you'll do if you take it. So. Well, we'll <laughs> that ask... pays for my entry and some gas money. <laughs> we'll ask you again when the time comes, man. But nevertheless, great to have you on board. It's Castle. Great to see you again. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. Seth Castle, ladies and gentlemen, there in the number seven. Have a word with us. I know I haven't really talked with you guys here in the comments section here for a while. I apologize for that. We've been a little bit all over the place on these. Just trying to hang with them and trying to keep up with the pace here as the green flag comes back on out. Nine laps remain. Well, it is going to be a barn burner here. Neither one wants to give a quit. Hard breeze inside slider. Up to the high side, White Castles are thrown, and Seth Castle, speaking of Castle, he just moved up two spots on that one, and he is seeing a major opening, look at Richard Rattata now all of a sudden, we've got five drivers just throwing haymakers at one another, and Castle, oh no, he gets the work of the half there, Rattata, I don't think he really minded doing that too much, obviously he didn't mean to do it intentionally, but he sure threw a haymaker at him. He has charged through the field. He's made his run and made his presence felt. Murtaugh is right there with the race there. Massey trying to hang in there with Hargreaves, but the caution comes out. Hargreaves has got to be fuming because he's just knowing he's so close to taking this one. The insanity just continues and just continues to get crazier and crazier. And I can't say real quick, folks, we do have uh, Caden with us now in the show. But he kind of turned his mic off on us. He does not want to be disturbed. So we will leave him alone unless he wins this race. So just a heads up. Still got plenty of other drivers we can probably mess with here and talk with a little bit. But we're still looking through the field. Seeing who we have exactly still out there. Still running. Because currently some drivers have actually had to put it into pit road for the night due to the damage they've suffered. I believe we do. Well, I believe we had Darren Ramsey on earlier, but I think we could probably bring him back in. I think. Or did we have Darren Ramsey? I, producers, you tell me. I, I don't keep track of these things. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to go with it anyway. Darren, you got a copy, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm here. All right. Hey, how's uh? I know that Twisted T is a little bit beaten, battered, like um you certainly might see it on a certain viral video, but. I mean, you've been fighting hard all day long and giving it everything you had here. I mean, it's really has nothing to be ashamed there, but what's, uh, what has kind of been the strategy here when you came into this one before the race got a little out of control? It's just, uh, started, got a bad draw, started back in the pack of the ra uh, heat race and C main and just got a little tore up and beat up. It's a little slick, everybody's sliding and just racing. I'm having a fun time, though. For sure there now uh, Mike I gotta ask you is there anything left you feel you might be able to do to try to get into that final transfer spot here 
Uh, that car's pretty tore up. I'm just trying to keep it clean and make it to the end of the race right now. For sure there. Well, nevertheless here, Darren, great to have you on board, and hopefully we can get to see more of you in your future. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. The 4T of Darren Ramsey having a word with us right there, folks. As we lean him down around out of turn three and four, green flag back out. We're back on our way. We still got a race to finish here, boys. Six laps to go here, and it's going to be a fight on the end from the run. Line them up here. Looks like Richard Murtaugh out of the spotlight from the outhouse. Send it to the White House. The Rocket Race set up shot 33. And the inside corner there, the two of Massey. Massey trying to hold him off. He knows he's coming. He knows he wants a piece of this. They'll fire him down once again here. Every driver for themselves. No one wants to give an inch. Briars them in the double zero two. Trying to hold on for dear life with Camden Johnson. Johnson, or excuse me, Tate. Yeah, Camden Johnson and Kane Scroggins. And that 5K there. That is just, that currently is David Day sneaking up on all of them. Clifford Bellamy. He made it from the literally the pretty much the back of the pack of the Z main and now made it up from the back of the back in the B main up to here now. He is still fighting, folks. Hargreaves has pretty much run away with this one here for the race lead. But I don't think it's gonna stop Murtaugh from possibly throwing something at him if he gets to him. Murtaugh around to Massey. Murtaugh up to the to the bottom. Massey goes to the high side. High risk, high reward. But is it enough to try to hold on Murtaugh? The ultimate of sliders thrown there. Oh, big little bump there from Massey. I think that's his way of saying to Murtaugh, hey man, if you want to get to him, be my guest, but I want to get to him too, for crying out loud. There is no room for error now. You better start making big moves and better start figuring out when to make them. They are giving her everything they've got, giving it every chance they can. Caden Strong is right now one of those guys as well. He's in the top four, hanging on for dear life. He wants two of them, though. He's got Massey, and now he'll have Murtaugh in the sight. White flag is out for Mr. Hargreaves, though. Murtaugh with the race lead, Matt, or excuse me, second place spot. Murtaugh trying to, or excuse me, Massey and Murtaugh about mad at for Caden Scroggins. Looking for one last little maneuver there in turn three and four, but out of the corner of four, William Hargreaves will win it here in the B main. He goes to the A or is taking home $50, his choice. By the way, in the chat, Daniel Irvine saying, hey, buddy, and good to have you on board, man. Oh, my friend from Aussie, great to hear from you. Butch Baker saying I didn't make it out of the C main, but I'm pulling for my boy Jesse Osborne. Go get the money, bud. Todd Draper. Saying looks like a good time out there. Yeah, it's been that way. Anthony Foster saying the Ramsey brothers in the chat. Oh, I just talked with Darren Roms Ramsey a minute ago, so they will get to warming up the track here, ladies and gentlemen, while we set up for tonight's action. The A main's coming up in just a minute, but first we'll let the drivers pack this place in and have a little thwart or two. Hargreaves is your number one qualifier to the A main from the uh, B main, that is. But will he want the $50 or will he go for the $500? Ooh, if that was him, I would just say go for broke and have fun. See the whole lineup of drivers here. Everyone lined out of here. Well, we got to bring him in real quick, so let's go and find him. All right, we found Hargreaves. We're going to bring him in right now, folks, and have a word with him. So... He now joins me here in the chat here. Mr. Hargreaves, your B main winner and Hargreaves. I have one quick question for you. You ready to hear it, sir? Yes, sir. What do you choose? Do you stay in the A main and go for a cool $500? Or do you go and take the $50 and run away with this one? I think we're going to race. He's going to race, folks. He's going to go for the Amish 50 Pro Stock Open, 500 to win. William Hargreaves, congratulations on the B main and a big win there, man. What a battle and a half. You got to throw up just to get this one in there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, with the with the pill draw and how the event works, uh, I had a rough start spot in my heat, so I uh, wasn't able to uh, make it through, the, through there. So we had to transfer through that B main. Uh, I do want to say sorry to Jamie Massey about getting into him there a little bit. I definitely wasn't uh, 
trying to bump him by any means. I hope he knows that. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens here in this big dance. For sure there. Now, uh, anything you got related word to say to the friends or family at home or anybody out there that might have uh, something you just want them to know before you get ready to go with this one? Nah, man. We're going to go out and try to, try to be patient as we can and work our way through this field. There's, there's going to be a long ways to go, so patience is going to be key. Definitely there. Well, nevertheless, William, it's great to have you on board, man, and uh, the best of luck in your wishes in this main event for the 500. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks to... <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. We didn't mean to cut him off. Go ahead, Hart. Grease, I didn't mean to cut you off. I thought you were done, man. I just wanted to say thanks to Thorne Zimmerman for putting this event down for us and to uh, all the sponsors and everything. I, I don't know them all personally. I, I, I should do better and look at that closer at home. But uh, <laughs> anybody involved, I, I do thank you guys, and uh, we all do for sure as racers and looking forward to this event. So good luck, everybody. Best of luck to you there, Hargreaves. All right, so that pretty much takes care of that. We know he's going to the main event, but... He's got a little friend with him, and I'm going to bring him in right now. We're looking for him real quick. We want to have a word with him and see how he's doing. He hasn't been out on the track for a while. Of course, I'm talking about Mr. Jesse Osborne. We'll see if uh, we can talk with him real quick and have a little word with him and see how he's doing. Jesse Osborne, you got a copy, sir? Yeah, you got a copy there, Jesse? So let me pull the strings. He's not talking down there. Hey, might might have had to go to might have had to go to the bathroom before he even started this one. We just don't have a line with him. <laughs> Here. Oh, hey, there's Jesse. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait a minute, where did you go? I'm like, I know I just talked to you a minute ago. How's things going down there? Well, they're going, they're going pretty good. Oh. So, man, I gotta ask you, this one tonight, there's 500 to win. What and God's green earth is going through your mind tonight? Oh, the question is, what isn't? Oh, I'm like, I'm literally freaking out. I mean, I ran pretty darn good in the heat race, and I don't know, I just, my biggest thing is just be patient. What's going to happen is going to happen, and I just got to race. For sure there. I know you got a lot of fans out here are rooting you on and all that as well. Is there anything you have to say to them or anything you want to say to anybody here on PTM Racing TV before we head to the big one tonight? I just want to say thank you. Thank you to absolutely everybody that has put this on. That's all I can say right now is just thank you. Oh, man, it is an honor and a pleasure to call this one, and uh, I can't wait to see how this one plays out. And obviously, I know I'll be racing with you here in a little while, but Jesse, good luck down there, man. Yeah, thank you much, man. Jesse Osborne, ladies and gentlemen, the Dirt Panda Nation is going for broke. They're going for it all here tonight. We've got a lot of drivers that know that all too well. Remember the A main, folks. A lot of drivers were fighting hard there and a lot of battling in there. Let's go ahead and bring him down real quick and have a little word here. Now I'm going to bring it in with Carl Kilgore in that 21. Carl, you got a copy down there, my friend. Yeah, I got you. I'm clear. Hey, Carl. Hey, Kilgore, man. We had a, you had a little bit of a thing going on there. Unfortunately, in Heat 3 where we locked, we couldn't even get your rafts to pop up, but the boys said you had the same issues there, it sounds like. Yeah, the train paints just takes a little while to load in when uh, when you got this many cars in one server. Yeah, it definitely seemed to be the case there, but now that we got a yeah, pretty sweet looking ride there. Nice little pink design with that black layout. I love the look of this thing. How fast do you think she's going to be here in the same range? Uh, we hoping she's fast enough to get the job done. We uh we start. I think we're. I believe we're going to start 13th. So first 25, we'll probably be taking our time picking off who we can. Uh, come the last 25, last 20, we'll be giving her hell of the... All right, man. Well, nevertheless, looks like you have got the right mindset and the right game plan to win. I have to ask you, though, is there anybody you have in mind that you want to try to take down here in this main event? All of them, if we can get to them. All right, Kilgore. Well, nevertheless, buy them on and fire hard here tonight. All right, Kilgore having a little time to talk with us here, folks. Great to have him on board. Thanks for hearing him in. Looks like Mr. Brett Rouse is out there rocking around here pretty solidly. Let's have a little word here with that 17R. Brett, do you have the copy, sir? Yeah, I do. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good tonight, man. Just kind of hanging in here. So, the 17R machine, I mean, we got that pulled up on your image here. And I'll get you looks about the same as your car actually does on the track tonight. 
Yeah, this is a uh, old throwback replica to the uh, actual street stock that I had uh, back in 2016. Uh, my buddy Rick Gibson over at uh, Vicious Graphics did it up for me, and uh, we couldn't be more proud of how it turned out. Yeah, I can say this, man. It is, it is a very, it's a very good-looking ride, very, very elegant design, pretty simple, but definitely a throwback, all right. So, Brett, I got to ask you, man. You're going into this one. It's $500 to win. You got a, literally a packed house, not just in the crowd, obviously, but of all of them watching here on PTM Racing TV. What goes through your mind as a driver, knowing what you're about to go up against with this setup and the way everything feels out there? Uh, well, uh, to be honest, we had a pretty uh, good heat run. We started a and uh, in my opinion, if you ask me, before that little bit of contact was made there, uh, we were passing the two cars that ended up finishing first and second. So I feel like we should be starting on the pole for this one. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, speaking for me, uh, starting 11th, the first 25 laps, I'm just going to try to survive. You know, let things fall where they may, and then the last 25 laps, we're going to hammer down. All right. Well, nevertheless, Brett, I think you've got the right game plan and strategy, but we'll see how it all fires away on you tonight. Good luck down there, bud. Thank you. Brett Riles, ladies and gentlemen, having a little word with us here as he prepares to go to battle with a whole host of drivers here tonight. There is a battle. There is going to be a war, not a battle up here tonight, folks. This is going to be one of, if not the toughest races these drivers ever come across. Remember, $500 to the race winner tonight. That is not literally with taxes. That That's literally right before taxes, I should say. That's with taxes and everything. $500 to win. That's all you need to know. They're, they are going to give... Someone here, the winner, 500 to say the least, and it could have been caught, and it could have been brought to you without the help from the good friends over at Ooze Motorsports who donated 150 of that just to the race winner here tonight, and then a little bit of more money in between for everybody else from there. Ooze Motorsports, we can't thank you guys enough for this, and can't thank you guys enough for bringing us on to the show. We absolutely love coming down and doing these things. Thank you again. And if you guys are missing it here on Facebook, I promise you this, you'll catch it on YouTube right after this race. It'll either be up by tomorrow afternoon or it will be up sometime in the morning. So just be ahead to that. Also, tonight's race brought to you in part by TP Graphics. Remember, for the driver that finishes 12th last in, uh, I believe, a few random spots between TP Graphics, well, that would be Cruise more sports, but TP Graphics will be the ones that give a free wrap away to those drivers as a consolation prize for showing up here and racing tonight. Thank you again to TP Graphics and Ooze Motorsports for bringing these drivers a little bit more to work with and a little bit more to go after. There are 50 laps set. You see the time. Warm up is just about to end. Yay, man. Warm up is over. The time has come. Race fans, are you ready? You know these drivers are ready, but are you ready? Are you ready to see a battle, a war for this money, for this amount of prize on the line? This is the A main, and this is the Amish 50. Here's how we got here. On the pole, Daniel Floyd, the 24, is outside. It's going to be Tanner Tomasi. Row number two is going to be Keith Hackney. There's outside, Jim Revis. There's that row number three, Jesse Wald. There's outside, Johnny Ratley. Row number four, Gerald Miller. There's outside, Felix Roy. Row number five, Charles C. Barnes. Outside, Chad Patterson. Peterson, excuse me. Row number six, Brett Rouse. There's outside, Giuseppe Muscle in the 41. Row number seven, Carl Kilgore is outside, Jordan Gage. Row number eight, Jesse Osborne is outside, Lane Phillips. Row number nine, Matt Fletchell in the 21 is outside, Chris Elliott. Row number 10, Davin Cardwell is outside, Jeremy Vaughn. Row number 11, William Hargreaves is outside, Richard Marta Jr. Row number 12, the final starters, Jamie Massey. And Caden Scroggins race fans, this is the time, this is the place. Knoxville Raceway is where you see nothing but the best here and now on the show 
and it's time to go racing. We're going to set this one up. We're going to set it good. Here we go to turn two. Immediately out of the gate, Jim Revis in the 21. Going to try to hang on to that middle line there. Try to hold his line in between Keith Hafney. Hafney, the 69 there. Inside line makes the run for it. The 09 now has to fall back to the outside. Try to hold on his line there. Tanner Tomasi is going to have a little bit of work to do. The corner around yet again here, the 91 of Felix Roy outside, the only Canadian here, the lone international driver, going to try to hang with the bad boys here on the American side. They are all on their game, on the game plan, trying to stabilize them in. Daniel Floyd falls back early, the 24, will he have time to get back up there? I think he will, he just needs to stay in it. Three wide slew as they lead it down out of turn four. Now it is the 91 of Felix Roy that has the opportunity to make something happen here, make a battle for the position. The zero of Jordan Gage now moving closer up for the field. He's up four spots, the hard charger of the night so far. Keith Hackney, though, is just laying down the lumber, laying down the throttle. He's picking up the pieces of the corn as he goes around, trying to, hand, trying to give himself a little bit more as we go to a caution. Caution is out. We've got problems. Keith Scroggins has come to a stop there on the front straightaway. First caution of the A-Main. We'll take a look at this one. Robins there at it. There, right there. You see everyone just kind of get piled up. Unfortunately, nowhere to go. Managed to get out of it though, so that we'll uh, refire him up and get him fired back away here. We're getting word right now from the chat, real quick, that McClellan did hear us, but he just unfortunately didn't hear us for the headphones. McClellan, it's all right, man. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, uh, that we get that fixed up sometime and that won't happen again. Brett Osborne saying, let's go. Matt Fletchell, good luck. And David Miller saying, go get them, Gerald. Cody Myers saying, come on, team, no love. A lot of boys down there going for broke here. Justin Henson has joined us in as well. Great to have you back on board, sir. Keith Hackney out of the start has the race lead. Will he be able to hold on to that, though? It's going to be a pile up in position here on the restart. We'll see how well he holds it. Matt Fletchell, his early problems, hopefully, will be the only time you see him struggling. We're currently under caution at the moment. We're going to leave the drivers alone, let them kind of recenter refocus remember there's 50 laps in the distance here tonight these drivers are going for the absolute maximum in position points and feel so now we'll run them down out of turn one and two and try to bring this one back to the action here Terrence Amase is going to go for it here on that inside Roy bet yeah but he's got Gerald Miller and that's 12 right beside him here and with David Miller rooting him on you know he's got a bit of love here tonight in the crowd support zone they'll lead him down out of turn three down in turn four Hackney looking to set the tone set the run and pace they go off the run here they come to the front straight away green flag is out
Hard charge in their way around the field, around, around the pack zone here. It's Mossy right now trying to hang in there with Jesse Wall. Wall trying to see if he can get some little bit more pack zone in that middle spot. You can see the ground starting to clear out just a little bit more for him. I think he's trying to hang in there, maybe see if he can get a little more grip, a little more rubber burnt in there. With the way the slicks are going, you know it's going to be hard for everyone to keep making moves there on that outside, on the outside when they're all going from the bottom. When the bottom goes, though, the outside becomes their fan. It becomes their home. Daniel Floyd right now charging quickly. He has been pulling back away. Might be trying to save himself for later on. Remember, they do burn up tires here with these models. So you can pretty much save yourself for a little bit of a run later on. As they go three, four, wide in Saluna around the place, around the track. Oh, my, they are all over the place. But I'll tell you one, driver that's even more all over the place. That eight of Jeremy Vaughn. We're going to a caution. Caution tail. Take a look and see what happened here, here, unfortunately, for Mr. Vaughn. To the PTM Mr. Replay, we go. Looks like Caden Scroggy. No, looks, looks like Vaughn actually kind of got loose on his own there. May to have a little help there from Scroggy. Scroggins didn't look like he took him for a ride, though, so I would say it might just have been a race against it, unfortunately. Nerves definitely got to be kicking in a slight bit here as we as get through this one, man. They just got to be thinking about what's on the line, what's going down right now, and how everything is going to play out. I think that's really what's going to be their main scare. Kristen Leanne, the uh, Cole Floyd saying, let's go, Daniel Floyd. He's ruining him on in. He's currently in that top 10 section. He's in the 11th area right now. Them up back around here, fire them down on the cylinders, fire them running in here. See how they hold up and how they handle the nerves here. There is going to be a lot of corner stop and corner racing here, I bet you. Frank Miller saying go Jesse Wall as well. Trying to root on all the camps, all the teams here. Pace truck comes off of turn four. Green flag is back on out now. Hey, wave it around. Oh, three wide, four wide, almost five deep. You can still see they're running them deeper than normal. The 24, the one, oh, excuse me, the 21 there of Jim Revis. He was having a little bit of problems there, getting bumped and bashed around a little bit. And speaking of bashed around a little more, I think Cardwell might be getting a little bit of a heat or two in between. He's getting a little bit of a trapping spot in that one. The 70 right now just currently bumping and banging in between. Problems there for Daniel. Daniel having all sorts of problems there. Floyd was giving it everything she had on the start. It wasn't enough, though. Here comes that old lone Canadian. It's Felix Roy. Holy smokes. Talk about charging it through the field. He's up four right now. Oh, he gets a little bit of a left tap there, though, from Kilgore. Three wide there out of turn one right between the inside zone. Johnny Radley getting in between them. They'll fire him on down, trying to hang with him here. You can see Felix, he's doing a little bit something different. He's saying to heck with that bottom in the middle. I'm going to try the outside. Not a bad idea. Burn up a spot down there, kid. But all that waste, but all that ground and dirt down there, there is a lot of bumps and bridges in between. You've got to be very careful about for a good reason. Tanner Tomase right now, now leaning it back into turn three and four, looking to get a run there at Hackney. He's got an opening or two and sees a seam. He just needs to make some moves here. Both drivers at odds with one another, both trying to settle the score and set up, up a big fight here. Jesse Wall right now still cornering back in. We've got problems down there once again. It's three cars involved in this one. 
Troubles persist and continue on in the Amish 50 here. For Jeremy Bond, that is. Take a look at the PT Minster replay here, brought to you by Ooze Motorsports and TV Graphics. Looks like, yet again, well, that time it was definitely the 8 that uh, had nowhere to go. Just kind of stopped on a dime there almost. Literally, you can see the car just kind of slow into position, having all sorts of problems down there. Well, the pace will field them back in and around once more, and uh, hopefully that will fix things up around here. A lot of hard racing to be sure, of course. A lot of drivers looking to engage in the scenery, engage in the position. See if they are able to continue on with that here. So Keith Hackney still leading the charge and showing them the way. We'll see if he can continue on with that here as they're currently still under caution. They want to get everybody fielded back in and tightened back up a little bit. JC Floyd saying, wish I could have run this. JC, great to have you on board. At least you can talk with us here a little bit and have a little word too. I know it's definitely not the same as running this place here, but still, this works out. Running it back through and out of the inside zone. Field comes back around. We're back underway. Outside yet again. Three wide salute there. Felix Roy, I gotta believe, is just trying to find a little bit more grip up there. And I think he might actually have found something. He's hammering it quickly here. He's got him going. He's going to make it work down there. Tomase goes straight back to the bottom. Hackney sees, though, what Felix is up to. He sent it straight up there. He's trying to defend him off. He knows he can't let him get past him. Tomasi, though, says, I don't really care. I'll stay at the bottom. Just kind of chill out here for a while, boys. Hackney, though, and Roy now have a run. Oh, they're going to need a little bit of a hand and a little bit of help. But if you bang that wall around a slice bit, that thing is going to get really off-center. That's for sure. Just an absolute mass of car machinery and destruction in its wake that have been laid out by Knoxville Raceway. Jeremy Vaughn coming to a sudden halt here. I think he's going to stop it for the night. I think he's done. Feels like maybe he can't get anything else going around here. Felix Roy now inside. Cross thread middle three. Wide salute. He's the meat of the sandwich on that one. Well, he switched from the bottom to the outside. Tomas here acting in it on turf one and two. Felix Roy sneaks his way across and takes the race lead as they go to caution. Oh my goodness, Tomasi just overdid it a slight bit. Hackney and him getting into it. But the fact that he was driving up into him unfortunately meant that he was going to be in trouble zone. And unfortunately, not where you want to be. And the frustration, I gotta believe, is pretty much there at this point. Watch this. Watch him just send it straight up there. Hackney and him, oh man, just collapsed in and then the car is behind him. The whole field nearly getting into that one. Great avoidance and swerving from the driver's end of the spectrum there. Hackney, I gotta believe, is pretty happy though he gained some good away from that one cleanly. They're saying that he was still ahead of Roy though before caution. So Hackney will uh, escape that one.
after the uh, little bump and run there, a little bit of problem situated out here. Hopefully we'll get this one settled back down a little bit. If you, that's going to be kind of the thing here. You're going to get a long run, then you're going to get a short run, and that's kind of how they'll play it out as time goes on, just because, remember, they're going for the big one here. When you got $500 on the line, I mean, why would you not want to run it as hard as you can around this place to try to get something out of it? I don't blame them, to say the least, but I just hope that they can start settling down a slight bit more here and maybe we start to bring this one a little bit closer to the end. We're still not going green here. They're saying, wait a minute, what was that restart? You guys were not lined up. We don't want that start. You either get lined up or you know go. It's very simple now. How do you guys mess that up? To that I say flagman, remember we do have a lot of stuff down there going on. Justin kept saying Robert Lampert, rooting him in, and then uh, James Richard saying, I don't even know what he's saying. It's like Pes P A S E Roy. I I don't even know. Well, to those that are here that are tuned in with us right now, first off, thank you so much for tuning in. And we certainly hope you'll uh, like and follow us up here on Facebook. Just go over to our YouTube and subscribe there to check out when we get this one up there as well. It's been an honor to call this one, and we are still got a little ways to go. Here we go. Now back to the restart. We'll keep it on the stack cam here for just a brief moment to show you how far these guys are rocking and socking up here. Felix Roy looks like he's going to try to do the unthinkable and go to the outside and be the only Canadian tonight to take down all the drivers. He has a good shot of it if he could just keep the momentum alive here. But that number two at Justin Wall isn't exactly letting him have any breathing room here. Keith Acne, smart as can be. He was smart earlier on by running the bottom. Now staying to the outside, just trying to hold off some drivers here. The number one of Johnny Ratley now trying to move into the field three wide salute there for the battle for second and third. Yeah, if you're wondering what it looks like in that car right now, what they're dealing with, yeah, this is exactly what they're handling. They are literally just door to door. They're literally one little song step, and you're going to go wrecking pretty hard here. Look out down there. we got problems for Daniel Floyd. And the struggles continue for Mr. Floyd in the 24. Take it out to our Ooze Motorsports TP graphics, re instant replay. And I think he just honestly just overdrove it once again. Or, oh, no, actually he didn't overdrive. That one looks like, uh, looks like old Kate, looks like old Kate and Scroggins is, uh, got a little too aggressive there on that curve and end up getting a little bit of that 24, unfortunately. Had nowhere to go, though. So that'll recenter him back up into position and try to get him refired in. A lot of laps need to be completed here, boys. So as we get everything nice and tidied up and situated out, see how well this one handles up for these drivers and handles in. Time still need to be kind of fixed in and kind of working around. Kristen Leanne, Nicole Floyd saying it's all right, Daniel, just keep having fun. That's about all you can really do around here, man. Is with this kind of racing, this kind of battle, you have to just have fun. Because if you're just being way too serious on yourself and you wreck or something happens. Well, let's just say it's uh, not exactly very fun being in the uh, drive, being the driver's seat anymore. It's really a matter of just trying to get out of there as soon as possible at that point. Hackney and Wall will now be the starters, and Roy for the first time, and this one is going to be put on the bottom. And I say for the first time because generally he likes to go to the top side as quick as possible here. I don't blame him. Pace truck comes off out of turn four here, line it back in. They're coming to the green flag now. We're back in the way. Three wide yet again. I'm just going to well make that a drinking game at this point. How many times can the Crusaders say three wide in a race? Right out of the gate, though. Gerald Miller, the number 12, 
seemingly now having a little bit of a grip, a little too. Four wide salute out of turn four. That was in, that is incredible to say least how they're able to hold him in and stabilize him down that well. Nobody giving an inch yet, just quite quickly. They will try to do what they need to. Hargreaves has had a nine and a half, let's just say that. Started in the C main, gets to the B main, then he gets to the A main. He's had to work for this one, that's for sure. Cardwell right now, desperately, possibly trying to make a big roundabout here, trying to fight his way in. Those that were saving those tires up throughout these tosses are definitely going to have a bit more of a run. Felix Roy is looking like he might have a spot here. Kilgore and Jesse Wall will battle for third here. Kilgore looking pretty solid. We talked to them earlier. He said he was feeling it. He said it might be a shot. Jamie Matt. Jamie Massey right now is one of the other drivers that came from that B main. And then, of course, Hargreaves, we talked with before the race in the A main. He did say he was going to go for it all. He wanted the 500. He's currently seventh right now. He might take home the 500 and a hard charger if he can get it. He's currently up 14 spots at the moment. You want to talk about moving through the field and just not caring where you're at? That 71 is proven just how to do it exactly out here tonight in the 71 J. Hackney right now, I gotta believe, is just staying under pressure, staying cool, calm, and collected. The track is all but destroyed. It is a slicker, then it gets kind of track out there right now. Hackney straight back to the outside. Roy trying to stay to the bottom, see if he can just get something going. I'm amazed he's able to hold on to that verb as much as he can there. He's literally dancing with the devil down there, that's for sure. Gerald Miller. Trying to hold on a little bit longer here. Stay with these guys. He's currently up in the top five here at the spot here. The drivers are now kind of slowing up the pace, kind of slowing down the momentum. 20, we're halfway through this one now. Who has the momentum and who has the engagement? I really couldn't tell you for sure. Jordan Gates seems like though he might have the answer. He's gonna start pulling up a little bit, up five spots from he started. Sorry, 14th currently ninth. Johnny Radley though, on his outside looking in. Well, Charles C. Barnes tries to hold on to that spot here in the eighth line. Hargreaves, man, though, I gotta be honest with you. If there was ever a driver, I think that could get up there and catch him. It might just be him. getting close man he is giving her everything she's got it is sticking but you know right now the way this is starting to play out I just feel like it's starting to slow up more and start to really open the doors up for those that are up front and work with that clean air while the rest have to try to figure out how to conserve the tires for a little longer here and then you got guys like Dav and Cardwell they're just like the heck with it let's just throw it to the moon and see what happens you want to talk about being scared or just making sure you don't wreck something Watch this, he's gonna go in, watch him come out at turn three and four. Ooh, actually kinda changed the strategy up a little bit there. Oh, but I guess not, he's going straight back to that wall. Man, is he throwing the haymaker or what? He's throwing it hard, and I think Hargreaves is catching on to his ways here. See if the Dirt Panda can get up there a little bit closer to him. Caution flag does come out though, we got more problems down there, Lane Phillips. Coming to a screeching halt there, that 29. So that will bring out the uh, PTM instant replay once again here. We'll see what happened here. Ooh, got right into the 37 there, and then he ends up getting him a little bit. Almost end over end, upside down. Both drivers able to keep it out of the trouble though. See some wild wrecks here tonight. Obviously, the big rollover earlier on. That definitely was not helping anybody's uh, confidence out when they saw that, I bet you. So they'll have 20 laps left to go here when we get back to the restart here.
All right, when we get to the restart, the Amish 50, there'll be 20 to go. And then really it's all for going for broke because there's really not a lot of time left out there and some of the boys just kind of mess with each other at this point. Keith Hackney and Felix Roy. Really, in my opinion, the most impressive driver out of the bunch so far. Probably have to give it to Felix because he found something everyone else was having to figure out, which is that outside line grip. Hackney's been pretty much kind of playing at multiple angles, but Roy has done much the same. It's been a back and forth warfare between these drivers, and everybody has been doing their part, doing their spots up when they have to. But how long will that last, and how long can it last here? Bring it back to the start, bring it back in field. Green flag back on out. And this time around, Hackney and that mouse trying not to hold it in. Oh my, no way. Four wide salute for the race lead. And they're going to hang on to it. They're going to turn three, they're going to turn four. But they hold a yellow, 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 yellow. Oh, come on. That was just... Oh, man. What? Jeremy Vaughn, once again, problems for him. I don't have the PTM instant replay, though, working here, so we're not going to be able to get that one in, but... Oh, my Lord. I <laughs> I think I've seen it all at this point. We've seen professional late model drivers come out here in the world, in the iRacing circuit, that is, and race, with these, and race on this track, and now we're seeing guys, 50 over 50-plus 50 drivers came out here tonight to race and possibly put up a fight for the $500 cash prize and it's just absolutely amazing to me how much these guys will give to their instincts given to everything they got to try to win this one Right now, currently, the pack stacked, re-racked, and all that. We only managed to get one lap in on that one, so we will now have only 19 laps to go. And I just have that feeling something's about to big to go around here, and I don't really know where it's going to come from, but it just feels like it's coming. Brett Osborne, absolutely new follower tonight. Brett, awesome. Appreciate it. Saying great show. JC Floyd, no relation, by the way. Hackney got lucky. Yeah, he definitely did there. I uh, pre appreciate those that are uh, liking and follow us up here right now. I mean, appreciate the love and support for saying it's a great show. We try to give you guys the best we can here and try to do the best we can for these drivers because, well, let's be honest. When you're in, when you're in that booth, don't just want to do the match what you feel on the track. Well, that's the whole point of PTM Racing TV. And that's why we do what we do for you guys on the restart this time. Felix, well, let's just say Hackney and him are not going to exactly go too crazy off the start and open that door up for Jesse Waller and Kilgore to get around again. Oh, no. Big trouble. Big trouble. Jesse Waller gets spun out there, unfortunately, in turn three. And now it's a pile up on I-235. Well, I know when you take I-35 out of here to Des Moines, that usually means you can get around traffic a little easier, but I don't think they remember the fact that we're driving for about $500 on the line. And folks come in droves just to watch this one, so unfortunately that was definitely not what Mr. Wall wanted to see there. Jesse Wall going into pit road to get an instant repair done up and get a quick fix on that one. That was a hard little wreck you got there. Josh Croslin saying A for effort. Yeah, definitely got to give every one of these drivers out here an A for effort. Even the fact they made it the A main, honestly, that's more than an A for effort. That's like an A plus. There is no way I could hang with these guys, to be honest with you. There, there's just too many good drivers out there. back in position kind of rile them in you can see the damage on some of these cars man look at the 21 that thing is beat and tore up the 
dirt slinging around here all over the place. And it's 69, really. It's the only car out there that actually looks somewhat clean and decent. It doesn't really look like I got much dirt on it compared to the others. Even Felix has more dirt on his. So the pace settles down, trying to get him back in a run or two. Lights are off on the pace truck. Hey, look at this, folks. We got the gopher cam working. That Bucky the gopher down there currently helping me out a little bit. Appreciate it down there, little Bucky. I got a bunch of hungry sharks in the middle of the ocean. They lead them off around. They smell blood in the water. They're going back to the run. Off the shot, off the spot, Kilgore will take over for a second for a brief moment because Felix is now right back on the attack here for that battle for the lead. Hackney knows he's coming up quick. He knows he's right there and he's got a little bit of a problem. He's on the bottom with two drivers facing off. And Felix is smelling the effort, smelling the chance. Does he have enough to get around him though? Three wide salute back into turn one and two. Once again here, more problems down there. Problems for Brett Foyle, Brett Rowles. Brett Rowles coming to a sudden hole here on the front straightaway. Big problems there for him. Let's we'll take a look at the PTM instant replay and find out what happened here. Replay brought to you by Who's More Sports TP Graphics, folks. Oh, yeah, he got a big lack and a half there. He had nowhere to go. Oh, Carwell, man, didn't even have a chance. Have it right in front of the flag. Man, he called that one right out of the gate. He knew what to do. Well, it looks like Jeremy Vaughn, despite the problems earlier on, looks like he's starting to get a little bit of a facing back end. This one, Jesse Wall, after going from the outhouse, he's moving it back up to the White House at the moment. A hard charge of the night currently by 16 spots. It's going to go as soon as our little uh, overlay sheet stops breaking down on us here. I believe that'll be Jamie Massey. That'll be up 16 at the moment. Yep, that will be him, so... Currently is in the 15-16 uh, range right now. That 20, that number two machine possibly looking to take home at least something out of the night. William Hargreaves is going to be one tough cat to take down as well. Actually, he is actually up by one up of Massey here. He's actually in 16, so he is the ultimate hard charger. And if he takes that race win here tonight, he will be he'll be making bank here tonight. He'll be making more bank than I make on a on a monthly broadcast schedule. If you can believe that. Jeff, Jeffrey Collins saying happy 68th birthday to Johnny Radley. Oh, I didn't even know it was Johnny's birthday today. Johnny, happy birthday down there, bud. Producers, can you do me a favor? Yeah, just type that in for me, would you? All right, thank you. There we go. Yeah, I hope he goes back and looks this, this at least and sees that little part there. Well, why now? Let's go ahead and give him a little birthday wish here. We're going to go on board with him on the restart. Look at how smooth they have to slow down and have to really horn her off on those moments, on those turns. Man, they have to stay slow and stay under control because that slick is so bad. You, you make one little error on that throttle rhythm and that thing is going to slide underneath you. That's why they are very careful and very suspicious of that. Three wide salute down around. Looks like birthday boy Ratley is going to try to maybe make a room for it. The two of Massey though now firing back. Jesse Wall and the other number two trying to hammer it in. The 33 right there. It is now looks like possibly the Murtaugh show. Richard Murtaugh has been firing it out of the gate all day long doing what he needs to do. To possibly give a shot at taking a win and taking over the and taking over the money. They will lead him around out of turn two yet again. Here we're down to the final 14 laps, 13 left to go with a battle for second looming in the distance. Kilgore, Miller, and Roy both at it hard. Four wide salute out of turn four, but they bump and bang a little bit there. They gotta be careful. They don't want to overdo it down there, boys. 
Man, the charges they make, the runs they make around here is just awe-inspiring, awe-astounding, just craziness. You don't get this kind of action just on anywhere around here. You only get it when you get to see it, something like what PTM Racing TV can bring to the table. And what the Amish 50 tonight has brought in, the Zimmermans have done a fantastic job of getting this race and this stuff set up from start to finish. I was actually a part of this project from the beginning, and I watched it unfold as it went down. It is absolutely amazing to me what they were able to do and how they were able to work it in. And now the final closing laps were down to the final 11. If you haven't already, folks, share this one around. Get the last 10 laps in for someone to see. Let a friend or family member know that their driver is out here running. We're going three wide saloon there on the back stretch. No holding back now, boys. Do or die time. Which do you choose? Some of them say we do not wish to go out on it without a bang. Felix Roy looks like he wants one last chance at this one. Kilgore looking to possibly take it away from the inside zone. The only thing that's left there is that small little piece of tack there on the curve. But if you get too far up into there, it's just going to hurt you more than anything. Nine now to go. Roy's caught up there to Felix. And Rackney is going to have a little bit of a problem here. Felix right now looking to possibly make a move here on Hackney. Hackney saw him coming. He went back up to the outside line trying to block. He knows what's at stake and he knows what he must do to win. But don't look now, but Hargreaves is right in the hunt. There might be a shot. There might be an opportunity for him to strike if he can get it. He's closing it in. Final eight laps, folks. This is getting crazy. This is going to get a little more intense here. Felix is doing everything he can. Neither of them touched there. But it looks like Kilgore might have an opportunity to sneak back in around if he's not careful. Felix has got to stop trying to drive too far in. He's trying to dive it off. Now he's going for the slider. He's stuck in around Hackney. Hackney didn't see him making that move around. Now Roy looking like he might have a shot at this one. He goes to the inside. He had about a half a car length in between him. Hargreaves right now just got to be thinking, stay slow, do not do anything crazy yet. Stick to the moment, stick to the verb. Kilgore and Roy battle for a second, but Hackney knows that if they, he makes one little move off that curve there, he's losing it. We're going to be down to six laps to go here. This is a hard charge battle. Final four looking to go for broke. There's no doubt about it. We have an ultimate hard charger in William Hargreaves. But does he have enough to do the unthinkable, be the hard charger, and win the $500? Caution comes out at the most inopportune time zone. Oh my, five laps will remain on the restart. Or excuse me, four to go when we come there. Well, I guess it'll be pretty much green-white checker at this point. Yeah, the race officials are telling me there will be three left, so it'll be green, green, white, checkered. And right now, I'm not bringing anybody in, by the way, if you're wondering. We're not going to we're not gonna bother these guys. You got four drivers right now that have a good shot at this. Keith Hackney has really done the unthinkable blocking, defending, and battling ever since the start of this one, for crying out loud. He's been trying to hold off everything that Felix Roy has thrown at him the entire night. And somehow, someway, that case at 91 still has yet to make it past Hackney. Maybe with a little bit of luck of the draw with those cautions. Who knows? But I'm just amazed he's able to hold off as long as he has. Kilgore, this last half, man, talk about putting a pedal to the metal through the floorboards. He has been doing everything right and almost closer to a possible victory and adding about a $500 richer. But I got to believe for Mr. Hargreaves back here, there is nothing that's going to be more satisfying than doing maybe what is probably the hardest to do on any track in any race. And that is coming from the very, very back of the field and, for, and taking home the elusive victory. He can add on to his money here tonight if he can win this one. 
Race fans, the pace trucks lights are off. You know what's next. Who is going to get this? Will this be the final restart? Is this the time? Is this the place to finally determine our champion of the winner of the Amish 50? We're about to find out. It is about to go down. Out of turn three and four, they charge them off green flag. Hackney got a good restart, but Roy does not hold back quick. He comes right back at him as quickly as he got a run on him. Kilgore right now trying to get a little bit of a hand here from Hargreaves by pushing him with the draft line. Hargreaves needs Kilgore strapped to help him out and then get a little run on both of them to get to the front. Felix Roy with two to go. Sends it straight to the outside. You knew he was going there eventually. He's looking for anything, and I mean any shot, any possibility to make it around Hackney. They'll charge him around out of turn two. Yellow flag though comes out. We're going to a green white checkered. Oh my. Well, uh, I am honestly just about out of breath and out of a voice tonight. And the sad part is tomorrow night I've got a daily double, I've got a double header I gotta take care of. This race, man, I've, I've called a lot of races. I've called a lot of battles. I don't think I've ever called one that had as much background and fight to this one and much less a story I mentioned it earlier from the drivers like here grows Mark Reeves that is just literally driving broke he's literally just driving with everything to guys like Hackney who's literally doing everything and anything to block and survive on this one on this main event while Roy has been looking for any opportunity any chance any slim moment of hope to make it around any of these guys but Really, it's just been all around madness. That's the best way I can explain it. JC Floyd need to start kicking the back half, ruin this race. Hannah Wall saying BB2 for the win. Well, you guys pick your fix. You pick your favorites. I'm not picking mine right now. All I can say is is I have, a I have a driver I've chosen in my mind. I'm not gonna give any hints. I'm just gonna let, I'm just gonna kinda just see what happens because I don't want our broadcaster curse wheeling in on these guys. This time by, will this be the end? They think so, but will it be? This last restart tells our tale, tells the end of the story. Green flag is back on out. They'll let him fire him off. Kilgore going straight to the bottom line. Immediately Felix trying to get something back underneath him. He's running out of time. Hackney's got a run on him. He's got a gap in between. That's what he wants to see. Kilgore is desperate. He needs the draft. He needs some help. Hackney to the race lead with still one to go. White flag is out for Keith Hackney, Kilgore, and Roy. Are desperate for anything they can get. Roy going straight to the wall protection, trying to get that rear end to slide in, get a little more power into the hood. He's caught Hackney. Can he get the move? He sent it straight to the bottom inside run. He's going for the inside run on the inside. They charge it hard off out of turn three and four. They connect. They connect. And coming to the finish line, Keith Hackney will hold off Felix Roy to the winner's circle. He is now your Amish 50 Pro Stock Open champion. Give credit where credit is due to Felix. He did not dump him. He did not spin him. He just got in there and like an intimidator decided to rattle his chains but did not wreck him. And that, my friends, is what you call a battle of great proportions. 
and really maybe one of, if not the greatest races we've seen in a long, long time on PTM Racing TV. He's done it. Keith Hackney survives the madness, survives the troubles. He is your Amish 50 Pro Stock Open race winner here in Knoxville Raceway in Knoxville, Iowa. And I got to believe right now he is through the roof and through the moon thinking about this one all day long we've talked about it we were wondering who would get the time and get the position in and you know it may not seem like a lot to some but for these i racers this meant everything to them and now there's only one thing left to do we need to talk with our top three drivers hey, oh boy i gotta believe they are ready to hear this one out he joins me now in the top three. You're a third place finisher here on the track. I'm now here with him right now. Carl Kilgore, the fourth. Carl, man, did you have to hold on for dear life to the end, my man. Oh, yeah, man. It was <laughs> it was keep the nose clean and keep it straight for the most part. It really was. I mean, you put up the shots. You put up the fights. You gave it everything you had. You knew what you were dealing with, and you knew what you were going with. But I got to ask you, at any point, did you ever think you were going to go for broke and try to do what Felix did there and try to sneak your way in? Uh, if we had ever got a run on him, we had a, uh, we had a tried to shoot for it. I ain't big on running somebody over for, for something like that. Uh, it is nice to pick up more money, but uh, Hackney is my teammate, and I wouldn't do that to him. But if it come down to me and Felix right there, I might would have rubbed on Felix a little bit. For sure there. I mean, I know it was a lot of hard racing between you guys, a little bit of bumping and banging in between. I got to believe that uh, definitely hurt the car and definitely made your uh, spirits go up a little bit, just knowing you had to keep running with this one to the end. So I got to ask you, man, what a night and what a day it has been. I've got to ask you, who do you want to thank you for this one here tonight? Oh, yeah, we always got to thank Rocket Racing Setups for coming on board with Team No Love. Uh, got to thank Team No Love for all they do for us. You gotta thank Kilgore Consulting. That's uh what we're doing over here with the open setups. Hey, we don't get to display it in a fixed race, but uh we always give our driving efforts, and uh, we also offer that some driving lessons, speedy fast designs for this slick wrap. Uh, you gotta thank Keith and all the guys and what they do for do for me. And without them, we don't have a team, and we don't win these races. For sure, there. But this one, you definitely won it quite a bit, quite a ways. Congratulations on this one, man, and uh, very well done for a race sooner tonight from your team in the Rocket Race Except Boys. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Carl Kilgore, the fourth, your third place finisher here tonight. We'll see if we can get C Felix Roy here in right now. The lone Canadian finishing second, and about as clean as they get. Felix now joins me in real quick here, a second place finisher, and Felix. Yeah, I knew you we were going to send something in there when you're going down that back stretch, but I did not think for one second. Even some of the fans thought you were just going to go straight in and just have a little nudge and bump there. You intimidated him quite a bit to the end for that one. Uh, you know, Keith let me some space on top all the race, you know. That was the move to make. Didn't want to destroy him on the last corner and uh, just give him a little tap to show him I was there, but uh, that was a pretty fun race. It really was indeed. He held his line. You held your line. I mean, there was, like I said, there was a lot of folks that were, they were worried. They thought, wait a minute, no, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> no, you, you kept it clean. That honestly, I gotta be honest with you. For the fact that you were going for five hundred dollars and you did that, probably one of the most respectful things I think I've seen here in a while. Thank you, man. You know, uh, I think caution killed me at the end, lap forty-eight. Uh, I was able to drive closer and closer with the momentum. And caution were just killing me all the time. And, you know, just I was just having fun out there, and that was pretty fun. It really was indeed to call that one and see all the action you were throwing at to the end. All right, Felix, I got to ask you, man, who do you want to thank you for this uh, second-place finish here tonight? Well, I want to thank uh, Ryko Motorsport, uh, my sponsor from Quebec, Case Uh my grandfather and my grandma for watching. And uh, you for the good broadcast. I appreciate the support here, Felix. Congratulations on second place finish, man. What a night and what a day it has been for you and your team. Yeah, definitely. And uh, thank you, man. See you. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, Felix Roy, your second place finisher here tonight. Now, he's been waiting a while for me to say this. 
$500 richer than a pro stock Amish 50 open winner. Keith Hackney is your race winner here in Knoxville. Keith. Oh. oh. <laughs> Should I just let you talk? <laughs> oh, man. I'm so exhausted. That was so um so crazy. It was, a, I mean, a good race up front for sure. And I knew Felix was fast. He always is. And, I mean, I had some teammates around me. But I mean, like he said, I was uh I was trying to give him room up there up top. Um, I was trying to move around a little bit, um, run the bottom, maybe run the top, just see if I could find anything. Um, I, I'm just exhausted, man. I knew, I knew coming to the checkered right there, he was going to be there, and I, I mean, I told everybody he's probably going to give me the bumper, and um, I just sort of prepared for it. I backed out early, and um, granted he did. I mean, he did what he was supposed to do. Um, but he did it in a respectful way, like he said, and um. I'm glad we was able to finish like we did. I mean, for sure, me <laughs> with the payday. But I mean, at the same time, I mean, I like that finish. That was that was a very good finish. It really was indeed. Throughout the night, we just saw some of the insane, crazy moments that honestly make dirt track racing what it is supposed to be, and really what it makes as a mainstay in the more sports world of uh, stock car racing and all that. And I think you guys definitely threw everything and then some at that one tonight. You had to block Roy though. He was catching you quick. He was getting on you. You had to hold on him somehow, so props for the blocks there and good moments there. But, man, I, I thought at some points he was just going to come take you down for that one. Yeah, um, like I was – I mean, honestly, I was probably glad to see that last restart because I would, I would get a little jump on him, you know, when we took the green. And um, I knew if I got a decent jump on him, I would have went to the bottom. But if he would have got a jump on me, I probably would have went back up to the top with him. So – I, that was sort of a, a, a game, um, mind games right there to try to figure out what I was going to do. But once I realized, you know, I got the jump on him, I just stayed at the bottom. If he was going to pass me, he was going to have to be on the outside or just completely move me out of the way. So I did all I could do. <laughs> you did all you could did, and it weren't working out in your favor here tonight. So, all right, Keith, I guess there's one last thing we have to ask you. Who got you here tonight to the victory lane? There's so many people. Um. I got to thank God first and foremost, you know, allowing allowing everybody to get on our race every single day and do this thing, you know, we like to love. Do I got to give a huge shout out to my team, No Love, um, everybody, Jamie, Carl, um, um, just everybody on the team that makes this happen. Kilgore Consulting, Rocket Racing Setup, um, uh, Custom Cabinets by Keys, um, Small Change Designs, Rage Designs, um, 1-3 Designs, um, just everybody that just worked so hard day in and day out and it's just shown over and over and over whether you know it's money races or league races that this team no love is probably one of the most dominant street stock teams out there and um i just i'm so proud of all my guys and um them for putting this on and you for broadcasting buddy definitely had to be proud of all that and then some man you put up a fight put up the work and everyone tonight just gave it all they had but you are the amish 50 winner you're taking home 500 dollars extra and having a pretty good payday here tonight keith congratulations and uh good to uh, have you on the show for the very first time tonight man all right buddy i appreciate it ladies and gentlemen your race winner here tonight mr keith hackney he takes it to victory lane he takes it to the end he is going to be 500 dollars richer and that's really all i have to say and wrap this one up here tonight what a night what a day it has been Race fans, this is the saddest moment for me. We have to call it quits. But from all of us, and I do mean all of us, the producers, my friends, my family, the people that tuned in here tonight, and everyone around, we just keep hitting benchmarks and milestones with these races from seeing famous drivers like Dale Earnhardt Jr., TJ Majors, the crew chief guys, and some famous country singers and artists that and legit iRacing professionals that have tuned in and raced with us on the show and even commentated with us. It just it gets crazier and crazier every time I come and do these things. It has become my life and come a part of me. And honestly, I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much to you know everyone that tuned in that have supported us and got us to this point. Can't thank you enough. So we got to call it quits someday and sometime. But tonight, we're just going to end it here. Doubleheader tomorrow night, folks. Pushing limits. And then the Fast and Fun Riley IROC series. You're not going to want to miss that. So if you haven't already, like and follow us up here to catch that action. And believe me when I say you don't want to miss either of those races because we know with those IROCs, they are up to some crazy stuff there. They've had two ten thousandths of a finish on their races, so you don't want to miss that. 
And then, of course, Pushing Limits, always putting on a unique show with different cars and different series. This time, it'll be the late models at New Hampshire. You're going to want to miss it. Guys, i got to call it quits sometimes. So, from all of us here again, thank you so much. And for the next, tell the green flag flies next time on, on PT and Racing TV. Thank you, Good News Motorsports. And thank you again to TV Graphics. I'm signing off. Have a good one, everybody.